One of the most difficult calls that I've Do ever you... had to make in my life was calling my mother to tell her my sister okay. was sister sister just say I'm terrible with money. And I know it's like my Achilles heel because, <laughs> I mean, I, I love to spend. I like nice things. Right, I, I, right. Don't, I, don't, I don't like a lot of things that I cheat. I mean, when I was at DBS, I literally lived on a plane and, you know, he was... Light you know, flex, alert, light flex. I feel like after this, ne? my life... After this, <laughs> my life is not that deep. It's not <laughs> that start deep. asking you questions. When are you getting married, dude? When uh, are you getting married? Uh, 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 I'm an ocean. You know, I'm an ocean. I'm not gonna turn myself into a pond just because people can't swim. A lot of pain as well. I, I don't want to act like it's but no, it's not perfect. Yeah, it's not perfect. Marriage is not perfect. The relationship has not been perfect. There's been a lot of fights. There's been yeah, they, but there's also been a lot of beautiful, beautiful, more beauty yeah. than gore and ugliness. Yeah, and for me, I, I think you find wisdom everywhere. That's I, I, I. I, I regale against the notion that just because a person is younger than me, they mm. can't teach me anything. Of course. Or just because... I'm now tuned in to the one. Two, 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 two. You better know we got the flavor. Gap City B Dub, Africa, the rest of the world. What's going on? Welcome to another episode of the Juice 2.0, your favorite show. I appreciate you so much for stopping by. Could have been anywhere in the world, but you decided, you know what, for your time, You'll just spend it with us. And for that gift of your time, I am so grateful, bottom of my heart. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much, man. You're part of the family. Sibling love, juicy is what we call you. But if you haven't subscribed, you're not part of the family yet. It's very easy to do that. Just click subscribe, let the family grow. Well, without further ado, today I'm sitting with an amazing, phenomenal, fantastic woman. The executive head of Human Resources, the Depswana Diamond Company. I need you to put your hands together and help me welcome Resoundingly, all right? Thunderous welcome to my Trochonolo Mponang. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you always kill me. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> with, the, but, with the name, right? Yeah, with the name. How the, I, so, I, you've, ma you've mastered pronouncing it. I right? have to. Yeah, I yeah, have to. Yeah. I've only been in the country for... It's a beautiful thing to see. For 16 years. Yes. You would imagine that my pronunciation should work, but... No, it works. It works? It works, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. I think we're so critical of ourselves. So yeah, it works. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm all right. Yeah. All right. How are you? I'm great. Yeah. Thank you so much for letting us into your house. Yes. It's you're beautiful. Welcome. Thank you so much for allowing us to come sit here. Yes. And uh one thing that I should also very, very carefully make mention of is the drinks. Yes. Oh, we love the juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love the juice. So this is, ladies and gentlemen, this is some very special cognac, courtesy of my guest today. Why is it so easy for you to buy us this much alcohol? Uh, why not? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thanking you for the privilege of, of, of your time. Yeah. You know, um, I think it's a reciprocal relationship. Of course. There's something that I'm getting out of this interaction. There's yeah. something that you're getting out of the interaction. But I mean, yeah. the alcohol is just a byproduct of how we live. I, uh, people yeah. pe people say it's, it's just water anyway. Yeah, you know it is I mean? water. It's, it's, just wa it's just water that can uh, make you muddle your words. <laughs> but yeah, it's water. Speaking yeah. of things that I can get out of this, and I know all those things, what do you hope to get out of this episode? I think just... Um, and understanding, uh, people understanding, or at least the populace understanding who I am, yeah. what I'm about, what right. my aspirations are, my vision, um, and what I think matters. I yeah. think when people like us lend a voice to certain issues that are of uh, human interest, yeah. it, it, it matters because I think oftentimes we're, 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 we're seen as, 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 as being these vacuous beings. And uh, I think this, this, this far removed, a yeah. far removed living yeah. and working in ivory yeah. towers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope, I hope we, we achieve that. I think yeah. the Juice 2.0 prides itself with some of the most comfortable conversations. You know, I hope you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Like, look at me. Look, look yeah. at how I'm sitting. See, yeah. that's what I'm talking yeah. about. That's <laughs> look what, at how I'm sitting. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm talking like, about. I'm comfortable as anything. You know what I mean? What does what does to break the rules? You must first master them. Mean to you? I think I, th I, th I think you, you you need to be able to understand how the game is is played. Like yeah. uh, it's a game of chess. That's something that you wrote, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a game of chess. Right. You know, understand how the game is played. Understand, you know, in a game of chess, on one side is a player, on another side is a player. Yeah. Uh, you can even play chess by yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. against yourself. Um, who's the puppet master? You know, uh, sometimes you think you're. You know, you're playing the game, but you're on the chessboard. <laughs> you know, uh, having that understanding and really knowing at any point in time, yeah. how do you read the mood 
of 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 of, 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 of the time. Yeah, yeah. And how do you understand the lay of the land? Right, right. And how right. do you apply that to specific decision making? Mm. And how do you move in your world so that you know at this point in time I can lay emphasis and claim what is mine? I like that. Um, and really articulate myself in a manner where people can see I'm not going to suffer fools gladly. Right, right. But you right. need to make sure you're in possession of your facts. And you need to work hard. So how how great do you do at that? Um, however old you are, we'll talk about how young or old you are. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm old, but yeah. I, you know, yeah, I'm old, uh, but 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 I, I'm nice old, you know, because I'm enjoying fine wine. Yeah, fine I'm wine. enjoying my 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 age. I, I'm not young. Yeah. I, I don't purport to be young. I don't want to come across as a young person. Of course, I want to own my age and age gracefully. I'm 49. I was about to ask, yeah. like, okay, let's just hear it. Let's let's hear it. Oh, 49? I'm 49. Yeah, I'm 49. I think, I think you'd pass yeah. a grade 39, actually, right? Wow. That's is, that, is that just that's me? Kind, that's yeah. kind. That's yeah. kind. And then, but then again, I, I, I got you that liquor. So you can say that. I'd say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but on a serious no jokes aside, I'm, yeah. I'm 49. I'm, I'm loving my now. Yeah. Um, I love, you know, the different demographics. I have friends great friends that are very young. Right, right. People that are young enough to be my children. I've yeah. got great friends that are, you know, old enough to be my grandmothers. Friends that are, you know, old enough to be my aunts, you know. Yeah. And, and and for me, I, I think you find wisdom everywhere. I, 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 I regale against the notion that just because a person is younger than me, they mm. can't teach me anything. Of course, of Or course. just because a person is seemingly less, um, I, I don't want to say less accomplished because I don't think just because somebody is younger or hasn't done what you've done, it makes them less accomplished. Just because a person is seemingly yeah. less successful, whatever success is, than yeah. you, it doesn't mean they can't teach you anything. So I, I, I learn. I learn from everybody and I read everything. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, you are the executive head of human resources at Depths on a Diamond Company. Yeah, Just, though that's never my emphasis. You know, it's a tight. What is what is your em emphasis anyway? Me, what? I'm Matty. Uh, yeah, I'm Matty. Of course. I, I, my emphasis is that I'm Matty. Yeah. You know, I'm always going to be Matty. Let's let's talk about, you know, yeah. the title, right? Yeah. Re human resources. When does that happen in your life, right? And I understand that this doesn't happen before De Beers happens. Yes. So we'll take it back as far as primary school, secondary school, high school, tertiary school. Yeah. But when did your career start to where it is now? Just, you know, in a few words. Um, you know what? I, I always knew I wanted to do something that matters okay. with my life. Yep. Um, being the executive head of HR uh, within the Debsona group of families, because yep. it is a group of families. I mean, right. you've got old DM, mine, in mm -hmm. Rapa, mm -hmm. Letlakane, Damsa, you've got Joining, you've yes. got the, you know, the corporate center. Yes. Um, it's an amazing company. It's the biggest diamond mine hey, in the world. Hey, <laughs> hey, production event. Hey. Yeah, just, uh, just in case uh, some are not educated. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love it. Because yeah. I'm a Motswana, you know, I'm a Motswana. And I'm a Motswana first, you yeah, know. I'm a Motswana yeah. first before everything. I, I, I live and I breathe Motswana and I Botswana. Love that. Yeah. I love that. And, um, so for me, it was an opportunity to to come into an environment where, and and, and oftentimes we'll talk. People will talk about Debswana and say Debswana has got like five point maybe six or so uh, employees. No, but it doesn't. It has like over twelve thousand employees. Some of them are contractors, but you know it's it's a different form of, of employment. Course, of course, of uh, course. But it's 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 a huge deal. You know, uh, people say to me, mm -hmm. uh, KK uh, Kolatuse Kolatuse, who is the general manager for yes. for joining. Uh, one time I was laughing and I was saying to him, why do people call joining mine? You know, and I, I, I hate this notion when people pronounce joining, they say joining, 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 like it's, 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 it's I somewhat, need to be corrected somewhat, too. I need to no, be corrected too because that's it's how joining. I pronounce it. It's, it's joining. Like, it's joining. joining. It's, yeah, it's joining. Okay, you know? joining. Yeah, joining, joining. Right, you know, right. jo people can say joining uh, if, if they want to. I mean, that's, a, that's the um, prerogative. Yep, yep. But I mean, it's, it's, it's a, people call it the prince of minds. Mm. I, I call it the mm. king of minds, you know. Um, but I think for me, what I what I love about, uh, you know, the, the decision I made to move from DBS De Beers, to yeah. Debswana was because it's, it's, it's a joint venture, 50-50, between course. the government of Botswana and, yeah. uh, and, and, and DBS. And, and I loved working for DBS, don't get me wrong. You know, yeah. I worked for DBS for five years. I was... Um, the head of um, HR for Diamond Trading, which mm -hmm. spent 10 countries, yeah. got exposed, traveled, you know, um, 
got to learn a lot, got to learn a lot of things. Some yeah. of them I, I thought I knew, yeah. <laughs> but evidently I didn't. How many, how many com- uh, countries are we talking about? Uh, ten. Ten. ten, yeah, ten, ten, spends ten countries. Sheesh, we can't even talk about it. Yeah. Do you know them top of your head? Yes, 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 Okay, yes. Namibia is in there, definitely. Yeah, Namibia. Uh-huh. I, I mean, Namibia, NDTC. Yes. Uh, Triple SA, uh-huh. you know, uh, NDTC is Namibia Diamond Trading Company. Right. Uh, Triple SA is uh, Site Holder Sales South Africa. Uh-huh. Um, there's uh, DTCB. DTCB. Uh, which is a joint ah. venture. These are joint with your, ventures. With your good friend, what's his name? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, he's the MD. Yeah. He was my, my, my peer, my colleague in, in Midstream Mexico. Right. I mean, it's a midstream part of the business where we we sort, we value, and we we sell, yes. you know. Yes, um, And um, then you see uh, there's DTCB, Diamond Training Company Botswana. Mm-hmm. It's the biggest sorting house of yeah. diamonds in yeah. the world. Yeah. Uh, then you've got uh, you, your, your Canadian production that's coming from Canada that falls under managed operations. Yes. Um, and this is at the very beginning when I started because okay. now that part of the business belongs to the portfolio of managed operations in South Africa. Mm. Uh, but there's a part of it, uh, the, the, the core part of it, you know, that still belongs to, um, to, 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 to the mystery part of the business. Right, right. Um, because all of these goods, and we call, you know, in our business, we call diamonds, diamonds goods. goods. Yeah. yeah. This, is what, this is what you say yeah. the first time I yeah. met you and you were yeah. given a presentation. Yeah. I was like, oh, goods. Huh? Yeah, goods. Okay, that's yeah. Dope. Diamonds that do do good, you know. <laughs> diamonds that that do good. Right. But I mean, um, but it's 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 really like that. And then you, we have uh, the sales arm of the business where yep. uh, we've got diamantes. Uh, diamantes, like these are people that sell diamonds. Ah. You know, diamantes. It sounds so fancy, right? Wait, let me say that one. Diamante. Diamante. And remember, there's that song of, of, of a diamante. I think there's a, there's a song. I forget who sings the song. Right. But anyway, uh, you've got all these diamantes, people that sell diamonds okay. out in the markets. Okay. Um, it's in um, Belgium. Belgium? Uh, yeah, in Belgium. Um, uh, in Antwerp. Okay. Um, we've got people in Tel Aviv, which is Tel in Israel. Aviv. Oh, nice. uh, we've got people in Dubai. Uh, we've got people um, in uh, India. We've got people in uh, Singapore. Uh, and uh, we've world. got people uh, in Hong Kong that are based in Hong Kong as well. So you have these uh, diamantes. I mean, these are people that sell diamonds. And these are Botswana kids. Is that right? Yes. Botswana All kids. over the world? Yes. Yes. Ah, you see, that's as a I'm matter talk- of fact. Oh, as a I'm matter of fact. About. Uh, and and they they are working with other people that are English, you know, Belgian, yes, yes. you know, Indian, you know, proper diamond consultants who understand the markets wow. because with the diamond industry is about understanding the market, understanding yeah. the pricing, um, and really understanding the goods, and really loving the goods. You know, being interested in the goods. Why don't you know about the providence of the goods? Where do the mm. goods come from? Mm. Um, and 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 really being passionate about the the actual good itself. Yeah, yeah you know what I yeah. mean. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's important to note that um, I think for me, one of the greatest things was working for this, this global company. I yes, mean, you, you, yes. So you've got people in Dubai, you've got people in India, uh, you've got people in, like I said, uh, Tel Aviv and Israel, you've got people in Antwerp and Belgium. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah you've got people like in, in, in Namibia, South Africa and Botswana and Canada. And you've got, also got a pricing and development team that yeah. falls under your portfolio right, right. in London, you know. Wow. You know, you know, you know what I what I hear about that description of what happens, right? Is how I'm not aware at all of what's happening in that setup, right? Do you always feel that a lot of people don't know? And if they don't know, uh, whose fault is it that there might be not a lot of knowledge that we need to know about the inner workings of it? I think it's, it's, it's uh, people know about LVMH. <laughs> you know what I mean? People know about the fact that LVMH just bought Tiffany and Co. You know, Sheesh. during COVID. Big things. Uh, people people know about the fact that caring, you know, owns like for instance, um, I think Gucci. Yeah. Uh, and 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 other companies. I, I think people people will get to know the things that they care about. Yeah. If you're a Motswana, yeah. You know, yeah. and you are in this world, in this age where information is easy to come by. It's like right here. And you can't tell the difference between DTCB and Epswana and uh, and De Beers, De Beers, you yeah. know, 
for me, I'm I'm thinking, you know, you're not really going out of your way to try and know. And, mm. uh, and, and there was a there was a certain point in time, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, you yeah. know, because I don't want to come across like I'm speaking from a place of privilege, right. which I most likely am. Possibly. Admittedly. Possibly, yeah. Um, and when I say privilege, I mean privilege in terms of I have access to the information. When, when you, you know, kind of, in our country, when you say privilege, privilege world, when like, you say privilege, people are saying you, you're saying I've got money. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Privilege is, is, is access. Privilege right. is access. It's right. access to information, access to, to, to understand ending. But I, I, I just think that there was a time in which the industry was mired in so much mystery uh, and it was mired in so much intrigue mm. and, uh, and secrecy. But right. those days are gone. And to be fair to even the likes of De Beers, and this is not to say this because De Beers is an ex-employer of mine, but yeah, yeah. I, 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 in the time that I worked at De Beers, I opened up the doors to a lot of people that came in. I mean, I can Jeez. say hand in heart. And, no, and nobody stopped me. There you nobody go. stopped me. There nobody you go. stopped me. Actually, I believe yeah, you. I yeah. believe it that you did welcome. that. It was welcome. You know, we, we, there was a time where, you know, we brought in young kids from a school that I'm a patron of. Awesome. You know, awesome. Morolong is Kokodimo, Borolong, yeah. you know, well, Borolong, Kokodimo right. at the top, and then Morolong, you know. And, you know, I, I, these kids come from a school, Abu Sote, Talohang, and, um, you know, like the MD of DTCB, being Sidiran Surumola, had to sign. Mm -hmm. Um, access to allow these young kids who are younger than I think 16 as the age in which they can come into the building and they did wow. you know and many people have come subsequent you know to that to and that, sometimes yeah. we invite people and people sign up and say they'll come and they don't so number one I think when you really want to understand these things you need to be able to become an owner of yeah. your own knowledge yeah. and not a borrower yeah. I think we, Botswana, tend to To be on borrow, the other side, yeah. Where you want to yeah, borrow, borrow knowledge the, okay. and not own our knowledge. Mm. And uh, owning your knowledge uh, means that you have to do away with those um, elements of, 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 of... I don't want to say laziness because laziness is such a... a but I think it's, it's, it's pretty much part of it. it. it yeah, it, it's part of it. It's usually part of it. it uh, the well, idea it, to not move out of your... Just inertia. Okay, intellectual there's that inertia. There's that you too. Know, I think people are just intellectually you know, inert yeah, and ineptitude, yeah, yeah. you know, in, in, in how they, they, they view the world and how they view themselves. I, I, I'm never going to be one of those people who I talk about somebody, somebody's bullying me. No, <laughs> I, nobody's going to bully me. I will bully you. Oh. Yeah, if you try to bully me. Oh. But I will never bully anybody. Yeah, course, and when yeah. I say I will bully you, you, I don't mean I go out of my way to bully anybody. I don't bully anybody. You but will if, protect if, if, yourself. Yeah, if you think you can bully me, I'll show you. No, no, no. no. Where Listen. do you get that from, uh, Matty? Can I call you Matty? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Uh, everybody calls me Matty. Ah, <laughs> everybody great. calls me Matty. I great. am Matty. Awesome. Um, Where do you get that from? Uh, we're going to talk about family, obviously, because certain yeah. attributes come from certain individuals yeah. in life and yeah. then things that you pick around as you grow. Yeah. Socialization, constructs, blah, blah, blah. We could go on. Yeah. But do you actually know where the fact that you would say you will not bully me comes from? Because I don't bully anybody. You know, oh, great. great. Um, I, I'm I'm very straightforward. I'm very direct. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but I, I I don't set out. You know, I don't set out my way to try and make everybody anybody feel subjugated by myself yeah. or by my power. Yeah. Because I think power is something that you need to handle in a very gracious manner. Mm -hmm. uh, but you need to exemplify the fact that you're good. But I do, for effect, come down very hard. <laughs> <laughs> don't get it twisted <laughs> on people that bully others or people that I get the sense they um, they, they, they they trample the underdog. Don't, don't, don't kill a dog when it's down. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, when, when people are like uh, contemplating the things that they're going through in life and people are having difficulties in life and then you, 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 you make it worse in terms of um, how you then treat them or when you then take your power and you don't utilize your power for good, yes. I find it offensive. Mm. I find it offensive. Mm. Yeah, I find mm. it offensive when people make decisions that aren't looking at the possibility of all things. I find it offensive when somebody just says no because they can. You know, it's like, yeah. And that's a lot of people. <laughs> that's a lot of people. Yeah, well, well, yeah, relatively, I guess. <laughs> relatively, but those people are not my friends. So, yeah, I, I, I think I'm, 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 I'm always... Um, you know, my friend, I'm, I'm always like really, you know, my brother, you're not my friend, you're my brother. Yeah. I'm always really motivated by, you know, the art of the possible.
Mm. You know, I want people that think from a direction of pool of what is possible rather than what is impossible. What is impossible. And I yeah. find it infuriating when a person's first response is no. Is a no. Yeah. Like why? Why are you saying no? Why just, why can't you think of how we can make it possible? I just opened my phone now because I needed to go to your Instagram, right? <laughs> you have six hundred and eleven posts. Yes. Jesus, that's a lot of posts. It is. And uh, those many followers. But what's mostly intriguing about your Instagram is the bio, right? Yes. So we're going to go one by one yes. of things that you described yourself as yes. in your Instagram bio. Yes. So from the last end, going back in, the first thing is no Fs giver. Yeah, I give in. Yeah, uh, no Fs giver. Yeah, yeah, right? no Fs giver. Right, right, right. You don't give Fs. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about yeah. that, uh, Matty. What, what's going on there? You don't give Fs at all in life? The, there's a book, a very good book. It's, yeah. it's, it's by a guy called Manson. I think Mark Manson. Yeah. If, yeah. And um, basically, it talks about the subtle art of not giving an F, ah. you know. I don't know why I haven't read that yeah. book. Yeah, and he talks about the fact that in life, <laughs> you're only but given so many okay. Fs. You know what I mean? So be <laughs> careful how you utilize them. You can't run around caring about everything that is said about you, written about you, yeah. um, intimated about you. you. You can't run around caring about <laughs> things that have nothing to do with you because a lot of the things <laughs> sometimes I sometimes read um what well, I've read and I've I've, I've, I've I've come across content yeah. or I've heard uh, or being told rather you know because hearing is very different from being told from being told yeah, <laughs> yeah. two different things yeah two different things because hearing is it's, it's, it's what I choose to hear but um uh, being told is, it's a, I have no control of what people tell me. Yeah. And I mean, I've been told about like, yeah, dudes that I've apparently been with that I've never even hit on me. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't give an F about that. I mean, you know come what on. I really can't. That's a but waste, you, that's know, a waste of an F. But if you tell me that my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, you know, my husband, uh, something to do with my nuclear family, either one of my two brothers that are existing yeah. or my children. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you talk about my children. You talk about my husband. You talk about... And, and even beyond that, you talk about people that 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 that, that I need for sustenance, right, right, emotional, spiritual sustenance, sustenance. Uh, yeah, I'll give an F. But if you're talking <laughs> about things that have nothing to do, if you're projecting your reality onto me, and you're projecting me as this vitriolic figure, yeah. that is totally nefarious, and you're being nefarious in terms of how you're depicting my character and my personality, if you're choosing to objectify me, yeah. if you're choosing to make me this thing. That is monstrous. Right, right. Because that's who you are. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I can't You're projecting, give it really. Nah, I can't There's give a lot it of projecting that I goes can't, on. I can't, you know, I can't. misery apparently loves, loves company. company. So, you know, people yes. want to see the same yes. way they yes. are in yes. other people, yes. and it's yes. crazy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. When was the last time you gave an F? Why did you give an F? Do you remember? Um, yeah, like I, 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 was, um, I was somewhere, and um, there was this kid who was serving us. Um, Actually, in Orapa, yeah. you know, in Orapa, there was this kid who was serving as so well mannered, so well spoken. Yeah. Uh, clearly, you know, um, very. I, I could see, you know, his parents spent a bit of time in in terms of raising, you know, this this young man. I mean, yeah. he, he works for one of the restaurants, Go Orapa, okay. and um, I just happened to have a conversation, ask him, "What? Well, why aren't you in school? Why are you here? Why are you serving here?" And he right, said, "No." Right. He was in school, uh, but unfortunately, he had to come and work right. uh, because his mother happens to work for uh, Debswan as well. But the mother is, uh, is currently ill, and 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 and, and, and I, I gave an F. Wow, you know, I gave an F. Wow, uh, and you know we had a conversation. But I mean, long story short, because I don't want to make it about one person. Yeah. Because from a data protection perspective, I can't get right. into too much detail. Right, right. But those are the kind of things that I care about. You know, where 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 you're like, okay, how can I then? you know, utilize my ability to oscillate in this world in a mm. manner where this young man can be provided with solutions that are, of course, fair, yeah. you know, and equitable. Right. Uh, because there are many such people in the world, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, but I, I I, was somewhat touched by that story. Have you? And he wasn't complaining. He was at all. Sharing, I mean, yeah, yeah, he was sharing a story with me. He wasn't I even asked, looking for a handout no, or no, 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 any no, type of help, all, whatever. Not at all. I, I would not want to depict him in, in, in that manner. Because I, I found him to be quite a Amazona who's honorable, yeah. You're 49 now. Mm -hmm. Have you always been that way uh, all the past 48 years that you have lived on this God-beautiful planet Earth? Have yes. you always been generous? Have you always been, you know, caring enough to say, I will stretch a hand if I can 
for another person to have a beautiful life that I can provide for them. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I, I think people would argue that I sometimes stretch a hand when, a hand when I can't. Um, yeah, I'm generous to a fault. That would be your yeah, husband, sure. would it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he has seen, uh, you know, seen it. Like or too de- much. Nah, he's now deemed a fit. To, like baby, too yeah, he's much. Like, yeah, he's like that. Nah. Like he, he's now deemed a fit to become the minister of finance. Right, and so he right. should be because I, I'm, I'm terrible with money. I'm good with a lot of things, but, but I'm terrible with but money. Is it, isn't, Can isn't, I just say, I'm terrible with money and I know it's like my Achilles heel because I mean I, I love to spend I like nice things right, I, I, right. Don't, I don't I don't like a lot of things that are cheap yeah. and when they're cheap things they're nice stylistic things because I do buy cheap things as well yeah yeah but um I think that the, the meat of the matter is you know somebody somebody needed to to <laughs> rein me in and he he has successfully reined me in yeah and um I think you know one of the things that I love about him is the fact that he's able to tell me no that's ridiculous we're not doing wow. that yeah we're not doing that that's beautiful yeah isn't yeah. isn't that isn't isn't that just amazing how yeah. You would have uh, What's that Madea Tyler Perry movie I can do bad All by myself Yeah Then you know God just like Brings somebody Who will help you With life And yes, just you know yes. Be And you, you're not supposed To be good at everything You can't be Yeah it's a fallacy You, you can't be Yeah it's a fallacy it's, it's like think you can Have it all You can have it all But you can't have it At the same time The you next thing I mean? The I next so. The next yeah. thing on your bio Sorry to interject <laughs> Truth teller. Yes. Yeah, yes. you consider yourself a truth teller? Yes, 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 yes. I, I, and to the point where sometimes other people find it offensive, particularly people that are not lovers of the truth. <laughs> I'm very direct. That's most you know, people. I'm very direct. I'm very unapologetic. Yeah. And, and, and I think a lot of the time when you have a conversation with people and you're being polite and you're trying to say, okay, can we reach a, a modicum of understanding? Can we collaborate? Can we get to understand each other? Uh, just because you're a woman or maybe you're somebody who, particularly when you're an HR person, people think HR people don't think. They don't think we're numerical. They don't think we're business I think there's a, there's a conception that flies around about that. Yeah, like misconception. they don't think we're commercial. They don't think we can get things done. Right, right. Uh, you know, and, 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 and I, I regale against that notion. I know a lot of very brilliant HR people, by the way, right, a lot. Right. Lots. Including you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be false humble, okay, but yeah, okay. I, I, I think I'm not too shoddy. Right. You know, um, right. yeah, I'm not too shoddy. But uh, I, I do think I meet a lot of people that are extremely intelligent who who work in HR, and so I find it offensive when you're 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 part of an exco team, as an example, mm, mm, um, mm. in any place, and people think you know you don't need to know some details, you need to know something like that. I'm here to run a business. I might be representing and be an you know, an HR person, but I'm here to run a business because at a certain level, you're not just re- representing your discipline. You're actually saying, this is how we need to run this mm. business because you're a business mind. Right, you know what right, I mean? Right, or right. they shouldn't have hired you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I mean or yeah. they shouldn't have hired you. The first, yeah, the don't first, waste my time. They hired you for a reason. Yeah, they yeah. hired you for a reason. And, and when you find people that think, you know, they have a monopoly on, on intelligence or knowledge. <laughs> you know, you're like, nah, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Let's, let, let's talk about this. Let's sort it out. So, yeah, know? yeah. People don't like you being a truth teller, but you are who you are. The yeah. next thing is that you consider yourself, at least according to your biography, right? Yes. A business leader. Yes. Yeah? Yes, yes. Because of that commercial thinking. Right, right. Because I'm very commercially driven. You know, for me, it's about the bottom line. Okay. Period. Yeah. It's about the bottom line. Nothing else? Yeah, I no, 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 I'm a dog in business. A dog, <laughs> pitbull in a skirt. You know, it, about, it, how it, do we make this it, money? It looks like it. it yeah, looks how like do we make this money? I mean, in the most humane way possible. I mean, you know the, what I mean? The kind of how do we make with, this money? So if, if you bring a business case to us, me, that does not make financial sense. You know, I will, I'll put holes. Because, yo, dude, I, I have a numeric mind. And I read. I devour knowledge. You yeah, know? I think that's why uh, you're, yeah, you're able to spend, you spend money as much as you make it. Yes, yes, yes. I, I'm not sure whether I spend as much as I make, I most likely spend more than what I make, Whoa. which is which, which is which is which is a totally different conversation. But yeah, like my husband has reined me in, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's a bit of. I love that. I love that about yeah, yeah. your business, you know, um, character and acumen. That they yeah. call it, I, I believe. Yeah. Um, I, I would ask you where you got that from, where the dog came from. Uh, have you actually been in setups where you have been cheated? Setups where people didn't believe in you, and you thought, you know what, someday. I'm going to learn this. I'm going to grow a yeah. muscle. And then when I get back. I've been, I've been taken for a ride, eh? That's the, yeah. that's the expression I was looking for. I've been taken for a ride. Yeah, I've been for a ride. English. Um, I think people have used me. Mm. People have abused me. Mm-hmm. And it's okay. You know what I mean? It, it was tuition. I paid for tuition. 
You know, right. you, you, you can pay for tuition to go to university. That was tuition. I was paying for an education. Right. And you wanna, yeah. Can you help me with another one if you can? Yes, you absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. I mean, I, I, I know better. I yeah. know better. You know, I, I now know better. Um, I'm not saying I, I've perfected it. I now know what I'm good at and what I'm not good at. I now yes. know where I need to ask for help. Yes. Uh, and it's, it's a huge part of why my marriage works because, yes. you know, there are certain things that I'm extremely good at. Uh, and then there are some things that I'm really bad at. Yeah. And where I cannot do it myself, outsource. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I ask for help. You collaborate. Know? Uh, yeah, I collaborate. <laughs> Um, but the meat of the matter is what I can tell you for free is that I've been used, I've been mishandled, I've been abused, uh, and I've lived to tell the story. Of you course. Know? And I'm not bitter. Yeah. I meet those people and I'm polite to them. You know, I, I, some of them, I treat them with the greatest deference. Right, right, right. Um, but I'm never going to go back because, you know, <laughs> yeah, when people tell you the truth, you better believe them Especially about who when they, they show, are. Yeah, 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 when people show you who they are. So, I mean, I'll be polite and everything. Right, but yeah, right, I know right. no, that no, once bitten, twice shy. Yeah. <laughs> it's that simple. Yeah. You, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you speak about marriage so much. Like, if you've noticed, right, since we started talking, yeah. right, we could be talking about Deb Swana, but, you know, your husband would just get in there, feature, feature in the conversation. Yes. We talk about this and that, yes. but somehow Peña would, would, would Peña's name of her husband, by the yes. way, would feature the some. The, the victor. Of course, yes. you know. <laughs> and I, 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 I wondered, like, let's talk about this story, right? Because you speak from it, you speak about it from a place of passion. Yeah. A place of love, a yeah. place of appreciation yeah. for who you are, but how he has managed to kind of rein you in in some aspects of your life, right? Yeah. When did you guys meet? Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> Such an interesting story. I, yeah. think, I, I think it's one oh, of the Oh, weird. This is the juicy part of the, of the episode, yes, by the way. Yes, yes. A quest. Quest. You remember Quest? When it was K? No, Main you know, Mall? Yeah, Main Mall. Where it's now Main Dad. When they did poetry. Yes. And, wow. When it was K-H-W-E-S-T. Meet and Quest. It was a play on words. Yeah. Like the, the quest of all things. Like where it's like Q-U-E-S-T. But it was K-H-W-E-S-T. I'm with a very good friend of mine called Lisa Kasali. You know, she, she, um, um, her late uh, mother, Aona Rana, um, the voice. Dope. Cool. Yeah. With Lisa, I'm with, um, Sadia. Sadia, I think Sadia, Sadia Nadu or something, or Pandu. Okay. She's, uh, from Lobati. Yeah. Anyway, we're there, um, you know, uh, we're having a good time. Um, yeah, I can't say it on a podcast. <laughs> and then he came and he asked us for something. We're like, yeah, why does it? And he's with his girlfriend. And we're like, yeah, oh. why, why does your girlfriend come and get this for herself? You know, he asked us for it. I mean, people that are imaginative can imagine what he was asking for that his girlfriend needed, right? And, Wait, uh, what is it? Can anybody think? <laughs> <laughs> And she asked for a lighter, right? A lighter, yeah. okay. Yeah, because my mother's going to watch this podcast. <laughs> Mom, I was not smoking. I was not smoking. Some people were smoking. I won't say who, because they also have parents. On the table, yeah. so yes. Yeah, because they also have parents. But I mean, yeah. He came and asked for a lighter for his girlfriend. And we're like, why does she get her own lighter? Do you smoke? And he's like, no, I don't smoke. <laughs> We're like, okay, dude, yeah, ask her to come and get the lighter. So right. I think she was a bit offended. She came and got the lighter because she wanted to smoke. Yeah. Um, after she got the lighter, she she left. She left this <laughs> delectable <laughs> Motswana Adonis <laughs> at our doorstep. <laughs> the rest is history. He's now married to me. <laughs> and I remember the morning of our, of our wedding, and yeah, this, this woman calls and she's like, Ask him, how could you do this to me? I'm married. I mean, you only put a ring on one finger. I don't mean to be cruel, but don't leave your valuables at the door, man. Don't do that. Don't do, don't, don't do that ass. And, he, and he, put, he put it on, a, on one finger. Yeah, not a cheap one. That's, you know what I mean? Not a cheap one. But I mean, the, the, the moral of, and I'm not laughing. I'm just saying it's a classical act of, um, have, you read, have you read um, Out of War? By Sun Tzu. Only a few, yeah. only a few yeah. pages. The first few pages, I'm ashamed. Yeah. But yeah. But you don't do that, man. You don't leave your valuable articles yeah. uh, and, 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 and... Your valuable. Your, yeah, your assets. <laughs> don't leave them hanging around outside. Because, I mean, people... I mean, yeah. It's, 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 anyway, she left in a yeah. half and a puff. Right. Because she was offended by us. Not even by him. 
Uh, meantime, we then uh, started to engage him, and uh, yeah. we're here now. It's a, it's a, well, everything. I think there's a lot of lovely things that happen in between. To yeah. the time he put yeah. a ring on that yeah. one finger, a lot of pain as well. I, I don't want to act like it's but no, it's not perfect. Yeah, it's not perfect. Marriage is not perfect. The relationship has not been perfect. Yeah. There's been a lot of fights. There's been, yeah, they, but there's also been a lot of beautiful, of course. beautiful, more beauty yeah. than gold. I actually want to yeah. talk about more beauty than than ugliness. Yeah. But for for some of us that actually might want to get into that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. What do relationships generally fight about in a marriage? If we're to speak from the perspective of yours, I think I think you know what I, I think it gets to the point where as two different people who've been raised by a socially engineered yes by two different families you're gonna disagree hey eh? of course uh, and then uh, there'll be pockets of time where when you're pursuing <laughs> different pursuits yeah. to be literal yeah. uh, you're focusing on this he's focusing on this mm -hmm. uh, there'll be times where you're, you're you're busy I mean the business of being pregnant. Ah. You know, uh, giving birth to yes, yes. new kids that are young, uh, the business of being a mother, the power dynamic within that as mm -hmm. a Motswana woman mm -hmm. means that mm -hmm. a lot of the time you're left outside of the social, you know, yeah, infrastructure yeah. Yeah, right, right. of what it is. And 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 uh, you men take advantage of that. Oh, know? do we? I'm, I'm not saying he did. I'm saying it's a possibility. <laughs> do you we know? really? <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know what? You're going to be pregnant for nine months. You're going to get back your body. For sure. Yeah, you're going to sure. get back your body. Um, and there are times where after getting back your body, you're like, yeah, no, it's payback time. Let me, let yeah, me it's rock. Payback let time. me rock. Yeah. <laughs> let me show you, you know, uh, that, uh, yeah. You now need to start asking me where I'm at. Because ah, I just spent like years asking you, you where asking, you are. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. Uh, but it, it, but it's, 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 it's also egalitarian. Because at the end of the day, I think for us what has worked is that at any given point in time, I wanted to know where he was and he wanted to know where I was. Yeah. Um, I'd be lying if I was to say, I mean, I'm, I'm literally married to one of the nicest people. That I, can, I, know. I can, I can yeah. think. I think look, one of the nicest people that I know. I, I've met, know. I met the guy uh, twice now today. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. And he Beautiful just soul. and I, we just saw him before we started recording. He just yes. recorded, uh, recorded before recording. He just came and he cut his head. At, yeah. Uh, yeah. At the yeah. sheesh, man. Yeah, you yeah. got yourself a nice looking dude oh, right no, there. Oh no, he is very, very, very good on the eye. Those are the valuables yeah, that were left at the door. Left at the door. Assets. Yeah, he's not too so on the eye. Yeah, those assets. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, um, I mean, I, I think, I think, I think the, the the most important thing as well is to, as a woman, also stand up for your own success. Stand okay. up for your own sense of yeah. There are certain things that I will not tolerate. Of course. That I do not tolerate. Of course. You know, um, and. <laughs> That people that have disrespected me, yeah, um, and um, I've decided not to, you know, be it acknowledge or even uh, engage them. Engage them, but I mean, I did try to engage in certain instances. I don't want to lie, right? But uh, where I was not getting any kind of engagement, I decided, okay, I, I guess they think they're living in a vacuum. Mm. I'm going far. I'm going far. So you know, uh, for me, if you if you cross me, I'm never going to come back and. Be that person who makes you pay, but I'll just ignore your existence, which is because in silence is agency. So for me, I'm never going to be one of those people that I'm going to then not hold my own husband accountable because right. I'm married to him. I'm not married right. to all these other people. Right, right, and right. I mean, men are not devoid of faults. You know what I mean? I think we have some yeah. of the worst men, faults you guys, there is. Yeah, men are not devoid of faults. So a lot of the time, I, I never wanted to speak it about me and the next person. It's about him and I. And I think it's, it's, it's worked. Uh, but, but over and above that, I mean, minus the the negative, you know, yeah. BS. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we just love each other. I mean, we 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 adore each other. You really, you, know? yeah. you really do. Yeah. Uh, we and respect each other. And there's pictures behind uh, uh, you right there. You, yes, you just look so amazing. Like the one on the <laughs> the one on the far right, top yes. right there. Yes. Ah, you are just yeah. on his chest and you are laughing. Yeah. You look amazing. It's he, makes, like, he makes me laugh. He oh my laugh. goodness, man. Laugh. And you're comfortable. Yeah. Does he make you comfortable as a woman? He does. And he and he supports me. Yeah. You know, he supports me, sponsors my journey. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, when I was at DBS, I literally lived on a plane and, you know, he was... Light yeah, flex, alert, light flex, yeah. alert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I didn't mean it. I basically it. lived I on a plane. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, mean it. Yeah, I didn't mean it anyway. <laughs> that was meant to be... Uh, but it's a fact. You know what? In fact, why am I freaking dimming my lights? You know what I mean? Yeah. If you can't take it, it's okay. Our you know deepest, what I mean? Our deepest fear is not that we're not adequate, exactly. right? right? And that's by Marin Williamson, by the way. Not by Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela no, happened No, 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 no. Why do people even do that yeah, yeah it's not, people it's not happen, yeah like uh, but he put it in long walk to freedom but uh, i mean my, my whole thing is that um i'm an ocean yeah and i'm an ocean i'm not gonna turn myself into a pond just because people can't swim you know what give me advice right mm-hmm. as uh as your you brother want advice from me yeah really yeah are you sure yeah. <laughs> might <laughs> okay. get you Maybe into I'm trouble <laughs> <laughs> might get you into trouble but, but yeah I, I think i think i don't know if it's like uh my upbringing whatever it is I dim my light a lot. I've noticed. The kind of person I am should be that guy yeah. who's like, F you, I'm yeah. mother flipping TK. Yes. But I dim my light a lot. And I don't know what's that about. What you do see, you think? I, what do you think people I that do that? I, I don't uh, th- I, I've noticed that you dim your light, but I think you dim your light in order to come across like you're humble. There's a difference between humility and confidence. True story. You can be confident. Yeah. You know, like I'm very confident, yeah. but I, 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 I'm one of, I, I would argue, you know what I mean? And this has to be empirically proven, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I would argue that we I'm will kind of, the evidence, yeah, right. the evidence, but I would argue that I'm kind of a humble person uh, because I will not make you feel displaced <laughs> in my environment. No, I mean, I mean humble as in, I, I, you will not be unwelcome. Matty. I'm not going to pull that, I'm um, this, this, I, all I'm going to do, no, listen, you got to, you don't understand. <laughs> People are humble. <laughs> but it doesn't mean if you're humble, you have to be a walkover. And I'm saying I'm not oh, a yeah. walkover. Yeah, true. I'm not going to allow myself to be a walkover. I'm not going to allow somebody to, 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 to negative self-talk to me. Yeah. I'm not going to allow somebody to try and dump that problems on me and make them, you know, my problems. Right, I right, refuse. Right, right, you know what I mean? Right, right. So when you're confident, people think you're not humble. But there's a difference. I'm confident, but I'm very humble. But you're also because, humble at the same Because time. I treat people well. I, really, this I, mean, I can say across the board, yeah. you will be hard pressed to find somebody who will tell you that I was some type of way towards them unless they cross me. Oh, <laughs> the ones yeah, that then, have crossed then, me. Yeah, yeah, the, the ones that have crossed me, I don't even think they can talk. Okay? Yeah, and they then, can't. Yeah, we they still shouldn't. need to resuscitate them. Yeah, because uh, I, don't, I don't F around. <laughs> you dealt yeah, with them. Yeah. No, no, I don't F around. But I don't like disrespect because I don't, res- I don't go out of my way to disrespect anybody. But at the end of the day, to be very, very honest with you, yeah, I will not look for a fight. I'm a very peaceful, generally peaceful person. Yeah. Um, I love to build bridges and I love people. I think you I, I think you really pe- do. Particularly young people. You've shown us yeah. that. You've shown yeah. us that today yeah. and yeah. other places that we've met. You you're a people's person. Yeah. Let's talk I, about your other family, right? This is your nuclear family when yeah. we're talking about you and your husband. Yeah. Right? Let's cross over to your family from your mom and your dad. Okay. Right? Who yeah. is there? Who is who? And um, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Now I feel like I need a drink and I can't drink on a podcast. But yeah, I feel like I need a drink. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's, it's also a Sunday and I need to go to work tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, um, yeah, I, 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 I come from the Mahapi family. Yes. You know, my, my father was uh, an underground miner at the smelter in BCL. Um, Is that right? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. 100%. So I'm the daughter of a minor. You're a daughter of yeah. a minor. Let's go peak. Yeah. Zana all the way. Zana so the, all so the, way. the stars have always been, you know, up I there. guess aligned, yeah, yeah in yeah. that sense. Yeah. Um, I, I remember my father used to tell us this interesting story of when Ramu Hai, I think it was Ramu oh, Masiri, mm-hmm. when Ramu Masiri became president. You know, one of the things why I, I don't do small talk or I don't do gossip or, or things that are petty. Yeah. Underground. BCL, smelter, hot, sweltering. Mm-hmm. And uh, Ramasire, I think it was either Ramasire or Ramukhai, I forget. Yeah. Uh, he's becoming president, you know, he's being inaugurated. Yes. And this guy who works with my father, you know, <laughs> and then uh, Ramasiri, 
ha ke nana kwa go tlhala ke go reditse re sontse o be re ke la bana ba rata ka re re o o pala me di no ha di tse di sa di tseng re o o rana le hatsi and 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 the moral of the story for me was always how rona ba tswana re nyatsana nka teng go re se tswana our culture is so sad in that sense it's very sad yeah ra nyatsana so you went to school with this person and you thought you were better than this person and you saw that person maybe sniffling with a little bit of mucus but the person is become a president <laughs> when you are underground to be say lo bereka mo sma arareto tsa ga rawe re bereke re bereke le bana ba rona re o o rana le hats you understand the paradox and i'm sure that people that say that about me as well what are you going to get in school le lena this one yeah but i mean it's like really um but you know so that was my dad he, he was very interested in as a sana school academically as a sana school didn't go to school put my mother through school my mother started off as primary school teacher then became a social worker as worked for the public service and NGOs most of her life dino wow. mogapi my wow. father was a poor girl but mogapi um and and one of the things that all of us have from my father is that he had, he had a distinct you know um love for 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 for, for, for books and for reading oh. in spite of the fact that he hadn't gone to school oh. yeah because i mean he was always galvanizing himself to us getting to know more so it's we, crazy you remind me of o'neil o'neil was on my show you know dj o'neil yeah it's uh, like he grew up in pico as well grew up in pico i think i suspect you there's s- something to do with that with that mind there's something to do with the smell what we can know and grew up in pico so so ziga to malan salshando yeah you name it so like he was the, 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 he, he told me of a story endless. he told me of a story of how you know school education was not the best yeah. but he actually grew to be in love with reading and books so yeah, please yeah. continue before i digress yeah with me i i actually got a very good education i went to a primary school called kopano which was heavily subsidized is that right yeah my husband went to to thornia i suspect his parents spent hey, substantially more hey, on thornia hey. i went to kopano primary Shut and then up. after that i went to mepon cgss oh yes yes oh. The number one. Big shout out. Big yeah, shout out. Yeah, we're from CJSS. I'm your alma mater. <laughs> and then after that, um, my parents moved to Gaborone and uh, I went to school at GSS. GSS. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got three siblings. One yeah. of them is late. So I've got Tebe. Tebe Mugapi. Tebe Mugapi. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. The? Yes. The Tebe Mugapi. Morolong. Duma FM. X Duma FM. X Gaps FM. Uh, now works for for the office of the president. That's your brother. As, yes. The one who comes after me. Don't you see the eyes? We look the I same. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it now. now <laughs> and the, the skin. And wow. the skin. Yeah, the skin. The cashmere skin, as yeah, we call yeah. it. He's with the office of the president. Yes, now. he is. Okay. He is. Um, and then, um, then I had a sister who, who passed away. Tia Mogotle Mogapi. Oh, um, sorry about that. that. Yeah, no, no, it's one of, the, and I'm not gonna tear up this time. I'm not gonna tear up. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know, put on Are my big sure? girl panties. Are you sure? Yeah, but I'm getting emotional. But anyway, she she passed away. Um, she was a journalist as well. Oh, you uh, see, I have yeah, a special. She, yeah, a special place in my for, heart. Yeah. Yeah, she she passed away in a car accident. Actually, ironically. What happened? Uh, just a few uh, coming seconds. back from um fashion lounge, and she was with three of her friends, and she was one who was wearing. a seat belt i think and the car overturned and she didn't manage to get out i mean and she got out and she was able to talk to everybody but she had a um, internal, internal bleeding internal bleeding and and passed away and my mother was 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 in the us at the time yeah. um she was doing some course my mother likes to crochet you know dibata yeah. you know like uh, Yeah, it's 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 yeah, one of the most difficult calls that I've Do ever you... had to make in my life was calling my mother to tell her my sister was Your sister late. died. Yeah. And then I have a younger brother, uh Humule Momagapi, he's an entrepreneur. Um he does everything, he dabbles in everything. Totally refused to get into academic education. One of the, the Sounds best like people. a smart guy. He is a really smart guy. Uh, both my brothers have been married uh before, okay. uh, currently in other relationships with other people and have okay. other families. Yeah. Um beautiful souls. I always say my my, my brother Tebe is the smartest most intelligent person I know. The nicest one of us all. Smarter father, smarter than everyone in the family, yeah. Oh yeah, I know smartest. Yeah. Man, smartest hell. But dims is light. <laughs> Going back to that whole yeah, dims is light. But and, and I understand it because I think sometimes because of the environments that he works in. Yeah. He has to be a little bit more, you know, considered and measured. Of you know? course, of course. You can't be running about OP around OP and saying, you know, you know, you know, you know, no Fs are given. I, I don't nah, imagine. You can't do that. I don't imagine that's you a kind of You can't be a magi at office of the president. Yeah, you, you can't, can't be. You can't. But not to say that I I disrespect my current environment. I love where I work. I yeah. I, I love Jabswana. I love everything about the DPS brand. Um, yeah. 
but you know, um, I'm gonna bring my own brand of difference to this environment that. and um, do good work, do you're, incredibly good. You're work. such a powerhouse, uh, and Thank that's you. The, that's the next topic we're gonna get into. But you. you know, whenever there's loss of a family member in the family, I always wonder, like, what was the last moment? You know, because yeah. look, those moments are very important, right? Yeah. Because you you almost want to be good yeah. with the people that you lost. Yeah. Right before you lost them, yeah. describe describe how you were with Tiamo before she left. And I, th I think it's, it's it's why people just need to spend time with their families. That's what I say. Yeah, you know, that's it's why people just need to pick up the phone and say I love you, even when you don't know what's compelling you to do so. I mean, yeah. the last time I saw her, you know, um, she I lived with her at Kotlogueng at my place in Kotlogueng, and okay. uh, I was busy telling her you can't do that in my house. I can't say what she was doing, <laughs> um, and then uh, the next thing she she wanted some money, and it was her money, you know, because we'd agreed on doing some project together. So I needed to give her some money. And then she came to, I was working for the local enterprise authority, which I started with Dr. Tabo Matome. Oh, you're with Leah? Yes, yes, I started Oh my Leah. goodness. You started know what, Leah. guys, started you Leah know what? Dr. Tabo Matome. I'm really sitting down with, like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like after this, ne? Yeah. my life, after this, <laughs> my life. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. I've just worked <laughs> in a lot of places. I, I, I often say to people, I'm like an employment nom nomad. You know, I'm very nomadic. Right, um, right. Yeah. Well, I come in, I, I'm a transformational figure. You, you really know, I are. Come in, I do what I can and then I move on. Uh, I, don't, I don't maintain. You know, the maintaining can be left to others. It can be others. complacency no, no, too. No, no. Well, they, it can be, I don't think it's complacency. I think that people that can maintain, I'm okay. not one of them. You know, right, I, it's right. not my strength. My strength right. is to come in, galvanize, disrupt and, you know, put in place systems that are better the lives Progressive, of people. Progressive, yeah, yeah. Better the lives of people and then leave, you know, the work of maintenance to other people. I don't think there's anything wrong with maintainers. I don't yeah, think to that... to each his own. To each his own, yeah, okay. basically. So you're anyway, working at Leah, yeah, yeah your I'm sister. Yeah, working at Leah, so she comes, you know, she gets this money and then later on I'm seeing her at Primi. I'm booking a table, she's booking a table. I just waved, hi, hi. Next thing, the next morning, she was gone. I wish I could have just said, hey, how are you doing? Want to sit down yeah, and have a shame, drink? Man. Um, uh, you know, what are you up to? Yeah, what are you thinking? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, Just a conversation. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah. 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 But it was high, high. Like, because, you know, and, and you forget in a moment that tomorrow is not promised to anybody. I mean, I, I, I think I, I've done a lot of work from a social development perspective and spent a lot of time with young people. Because in, in a sense, maybe I'm seeking penance. For you know, her. In my for own her. way, yeah. For, 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 yeah. for just not having spent do, as do much time. Do you feel that way? Do you feel that way? I do feel that way. I do feel, I, I, I feel I could have been a better sister. You know, and uh, yeah, I hope wherever she is, she's seeing the work that I'm doing in her name. Yeah. You know, and how I'm honoring her and her memory. I hope she does. What and, can we do at the Juice 2.0? To honor her memory, I, I, I don't, I don't do this. I think you can, uh, you but, can like maybe at the end of the show put one of the videos that we have that I've uploaded. Like I, there are a lot of videos okay. of of work that we've done for TGM. Okay. You know, um, where you know it was, it was, it was, it was in her. Like just you know, like clips. You, you maybe you can use one of those clips. Can I mean, we do that? It's maybe it's my it's my content. Can we do that? <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. I'm not sure. sure. I got a bottle of something, so <laughs> yeah, I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's, 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 I'm so sorry for for your yeah, loss. No, it's, uh, it's, 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 well, in few words, how would you have described her? Uh, how would you describe her? Three words, actually, not few, just three. She was a live wire. Live. Ooh. Yeah, she was a live ooh. wire. She was alive. That kind of runs in the family, doesn't it? Yeah, she was oh. a live wire. Had a lot of positive energy. Um, yeah, it's it's, it's 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 it remains to be seen how we're able to carry her legacy and uh, forward. And how we 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 will be able to to honor her memory. So yeah. and she was a live wife. She was an amazing person. She looked exactly like me. Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of people couldn't tell that because at some point in time, believe it or not, I was quite small. <laughs> at some point, I believe. was really big. I'm telling you, I was quite small. Uh, but I mean, she had dreadlocks. She had gold dreadlocks. Sometimes black dreadlocks. But she was an amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Human being, Tiamo Hotle Mohapi. Tiamo. Big shout out, man. Yeah. If the, the spiritual uh, get realm. realm is yeah. anything is anything to go by. We'll then pour libation for her. We'll we got her yeah, after the after yeah, the recording. We'll pour, yeah, we'll pour like, libation yeah. for her to the gods. Um yeah. let's talk about something that I saw on your Facebook, right? Mm. You're going paragraph after paragraph, or it was at least like a re really long. Paragraph. Yeah, I tend about, to do that sometimes. About how cross-eyed you are. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. 
anyway, retailing, detailing rather. Yeah. The history of how, you know, your mom, you would run to your mom, yeah. you tell your mom they're laughing at you at school, blah, yeah. blah, blah, this yeah. and this and that. Yeah. But you turned out to be the person that you are now. Yeah. And because you because you have because you have low-key cocky moments in your statuses, you're like you're doing so much better than straight eyed people, some straight eyed people in this world. I'm like, oh shucks. Shit, didn't just do that, you know? <laughs> well, I think the exact line was like, yeah, I don't know what your straight eyes did for you. Yeah. <laughs> My eyes are so cross-eyed, by the way. <laughs> I think that's exactly what I say, right? <laughs> that's exactly what yeah. you said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, but, you, can't, you can't use, you know, you, you, you can't and you shouldn't use the things that people were born with. Yeah. They cannot help about themselves. But let's, cruel, talk, let's talk about it, Matty. Let's talk about it, Matty. <laughs> Describe your life, right? Yeah. In primary school, yeah. and possibly a little bit of that in high school, yeah. and how you turned out to be like, obviously in primary you're young. Yeah, there's not the quickest acceptance of what you are yeah. and who you are. Yeah, but as soon as you grow older and with so much expose that you've had around, ah, do you read a lot, and I appreciate that about you, and maybe you see episodes and videos and this and that about people talking about you need to just accept who you are. You become then who you are. Yeah. But it's not easy that that, it's not, that it's journey. Not. So it's take me, easy. take me to to you know that yeah. point until now. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't like bullies because I was bullied a lot as a kid. Of course, I was bullied a lot, yeah. a lot as a kid. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I think sometimes the people that were bullying me were not even intentionally bullying me. Right. They, 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 they you know, that's. I, I think kids are very cruel. <laughs> you know, can we start? Kids off really are. Kids are like extremely the cruel. Yeah. yeah. Kids are extremely cruel, and as much as they're kind, and they're not cruel. Because they're naturally cruel. I think kids are taught cruel, cruelty by their parents. Because yeah, yeah. kids will mimic their parents' behaviors. Pretty you know much. What I mean? Pretty much. And, and so it was, it was always like, you know, it was always like those kind of things. Matty. No, but, but, but trust you me, uh, when I tell you one time, uh, and I'm crying, you know, I'm bawling out my eyes. And I, I think there's time I get the back, you know, like when you're playing a ball. Yeah. On the streets. And I go to my mom and my mom is like, no, 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 no. no. You're going to stand up for yourself. You know, tell those people who oh, are a cross-eyed beauty. Because my mom is like, you're fucking, you know, <laughs> let me start. Like, <laughs> yeah. But my mom we'll said, you're, yeah, <laughs> yeah. My mom said, you're freaking, you know, you're effing, you're effing beautiful, yeah. you know. Um, and you're a cross-eyed beauty. And so I went back and I'm like, yeah, I didn't even know what it meant to be called a cross-eyed cross beauty. beauty yeah. I went back, I'm like, you know, I'm a little kid and I'm dirty as anything. <laughs> <laughs> Because we've been playing in the in the in the dust, in the you know, dirt, like, in the listen, dirt. I'm a cross-eyed beauty, you know. <laughs> I think it was like one of my greatest, you know, my first moments of liberation. Of course, they looked at me like, yeah, what is what is she? What, what is she mean? What is she on? Yeah. <laughs> and throughout life, whenever people would want to 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 to, to make that uh, a thing, I would say, yeah, no, no, no I'm a cross-eyed beauty, but I, I just want to appreciate what your your straight eyes have done for you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but I think a, a huge part of it, of, of of because out of out of a great of a great deal of pain, it also galvanizes you to become this person who just pushes themselves. So and and a huge part of why I don't take prisoners, you know, I don't take no prisoners. You like don't Bernard take, Bernard Arnold? Yeah, Bernard Arnold. Oh, yes. Like don't, yeah. don't take prisoners. Yeah, don't take prisoners. No. Yeah. The wolf who has cashmere. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's Bernard right there. <laughs> the wolf who has cashmere. So, I, I, mean, I mean, for me, I, I don't want to say I'm like Bernard or not. That's so pretentious. You could be. But, you, you know, like, be. but he inspires me. I think that's what you wanted to yeah, say. Yeah, Because people are going to be like, okay, where's your who's, family? Who's, yeah, where's who's your family? Billion. <laughs> And I don't want to call that, that kind of not... attention. Yeah, she, he'll be sitting somewhere wherever he is. It's like, who's this woman who is... claiming to be me in Botswana? <laughs> no, dude. You know, kind of social media is a strange animal. But anyway, Bernard or not, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Bernard or not, he, 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 he absolutely inspires me. But I mean, I, I think for me, um, I mean, there are many women as well that, yeah, that inspire course. me, many, many local women. Uh, who, who? Let's, let's mention some names, right? Who inspires you? Also, okay, you know I what? Let's, let's let's hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, sure. Let's let's go back to your story about C E B, right? Cross eyed beauty. Beauty, yeah. You you mentioned somewhere in our chats off recording that the president calls you something else 
Oh uh, yes, yes, yes. He, he's he's like Miss Big Eyes. Miss Big Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he always laughs. He's like Miss Big Eyes. How are you doing, Miss Big Eyes? And I like the fact that he calls me Miss Big Eyes. Dude, yeah. how is it, how is it like? Okay, so yeah. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Of uh, the president. And I'm a CCS. But you obviously have had personal interactions. Yes. Right. Because yes, of yes. your God, God has blessed you with your positioning. And what you do now? I don't even see him now. Hey, like, oh, you I, don't, like, huh? I don't really see him now. I see him once in a while. I, okay. I, I, when I was, I mean, he when my when my sister passed away, he helped us bury my sister. Beautiful. Uh, can Beautiful. I just acknowledge him for that? Yeah, your camera uh, is right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Can I just acknowledge him for that? Thank you. Um, and he was an MC, one of the three MCs at my sister's funeral. Awesome. Um, but he was also the supervisor for Tebe Mohapi in mm. TS when he worked for the United Nations. I don't think a lot you of people. You worked for United Nations. Yes, he worked for UNICEF. I don't, I don't think a lot of people know wow. that I used to work for UNICEF at some point. Um, I can be critical of, of, of him as I can be of any president. It's, it's, it's my right. Because, you know, I'm a Motswana. You yeah. know, before I'm a psychophant. But I, I have a great degree <laughs> of respect. It's a beautiful word. Yeah, way, yeah. Before, but I have a great degree of respect for him. Um, I'm definitely very much aligned to uh, his ethos around citizen empowerment. Yes particularly citizen empowerment of people that are naturally inclined to being entrepreneurs. Right, right. And uh, citizen empowerment of people that need to occupy spaces. And um, I am a great supporter of those governments and will be a great supporter of this government as long as the government is serving the needs of, 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 of Botswana. Of Botswana, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't think we always get it right, but who does? Mm. You know what I mean? I don't mm. think perfection is a fallacy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Perfection is a fallacy. That's why nobody wakes up looking like this, right? <laughs> <laughs> manicure. Yeah, manicure. Laws. I have a cap on because yeah. I couldn't manicure my hair. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too much information, yeah, by the way. Yeah, but Let's no, no, cut but that out. <laughs> no, no, we can. We can have it. We can have it right. put in. But I mean, I, I think the most important thing in life is just to be real and to be yourself. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I love it. I love it for you. What were we going to talk about before I interrupted and took you back to Ramasis? Uh, you no. see now, I, I think it was just part of the the long story. But I, I think we 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 we've done well <laughs> in terms of exploring my life. I need to start asking you questions. When are you getting married, dude? When uh, are you getting married? Uh, uh, and we uh, better uh, include uh, this. Uh, uh, when are you getting uh, married? What's going on? Married? What's going on? When are you getting married? When are you getting married? Why aren't you marrying? Why why are you wasting her time? What? Why is it always considered wasting someone's time? <laughs> why are you taking why your sweet should, time? Why should I get why married? Why are you still waiting to explore and find out about it? I'm not even doing that. Why, yeah. why should I get married? No, I'm just saying because, you know, ultimately, <laughs> you know, people want to end up together. Even if you don't get married, you're right, actually. That's a very right. good question. Yeah. You don't need to get married, but yeah. Speaking but, of marriage, right? Um, what do you make of community in and out? Out. Or, or prenup? Out. Out. Whoa. Out. 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 out, out. Why? Because from a business perspective, it makes sense. Like if you get into trouble because of business pursuits, liability, then our, uh, yeah, yeah, then, liability. then our, uh, there's share, less liability okay. for, 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 for the shadow. You're a lawyer, you know this. I do, I do. That's why, you know, you're sharing benefits, you're sharing profit, you're sharing liability. And mostly because marriages end yeah. in this country. And right? it doesn't mean it's not real if it's in. If it's not out, yeah, yeah. but if it's not in, rather, right? Uh, I think you can still do it either way and both ways. You yeah. could, you could. I don't know how how a lot of ladies that have kind of, you know, shunned on out of community of property because they believe that when you choose that, it means that you do not love them and you do not trust that you know things are going to whatever that ethos. Maybe is. they need to understand the, the the commercial side of things. I mean, if you're married in community of property yeah. and you happen to get debts at an in, into debts at an individual level, yeah. the estate, the entire estate is liable. Be, yeah, yeah. Whereas if you do that, you will be liable at an individual level. Of course. But you'll still be protected by the other by the other half of the estate that's not under your name. Yeah. I mean it's just business thinking. I think marriage is about having that emotional muscle, but also understanding that it's, it's, it's an emotional relationship within a context of economics. Should it be there, though? That's the question I always ask people. And I understand everything you're saying. Should it be there considering that when you are married, two have become one, right? You share everything. Like, before people are married, I wealthy imagine, people, I imagine... Wealthy people don't think like that. <laughs> Well, other people don't think like that, dude. You love each other. Don't get me <laughs> wrong. The love is yeah, there. The love is there. I mean, because the love is not going to go away. <laughs> Just because you're deciding to get... I mean, really? You're deciding to get married out of communal property. And it means you don't love each other? Really? Is there anybody who in this day and age thinks like that? But, nah. but inadvertently, what it means is that when you're in uh, sheesh, 
then don't touch my sheesh. No, but I mean, you, if you make it about that, I mean, you only get married out of community of property so that you could you, you protect your assets. But what smart you, commercial thinking. No, but what, it's got why, nothing to do why, with sentimentality. But why, why, but why are you protecting your things when you're getting into no, this no, matrimony? No, no, no. When I say your assets, I don't mean your assets as in Matty's assets. Right. Paying you and Matty's assets. Yes. Because my assets are his assets. Right. But we've gotten there in different ways. Okay, I get that. Yeah, because I if, if, if I freak, if I flip and die, okay. right? God forbid. He, God forbid. Yeah. He's you still do, you access. still want to live long, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> of course, who doesn't? And then if he flip and dies, I mean, I, I still have access to, 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 to his assets. Those are collective assets. Right, right. Because whatever you, 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 you acquire together within marriage is both yours. But from an institutional perspective as to the exposure of liability, it separates it. It's just business sense. No, I, I totally understand what the law it's says. It's got nothing about. to do with sentiment. It's just, it's just when it comes to the sentiment, really, yeah, really, because yeah. I think a lot of people try to attach, which is which is something that I can agree on, you know, to attach sentiment to marriage because it really is it a sentimental. Sense. It it's makes a sense. Sentimental yeah, it thing, is sentimental. Right? It is. It's an emotional but, but journey. But you're bringing. Look, we can be sentimental. Yes. We can love each other, but let's let's have business. Let's protect our assets. Right. Let's pre- I mean, and, and the other thing is, you, 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 you know, like one of the things that, and maybe it's the last thing I'll say is that, extremely, no, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> extremely wealthy people yeah. go to great lengths to hide that wealth. Of course, offshore yeah, yeah. this. Offshore Rich that. people show off that wealth. You know, they you'll you'll see them all over the place being rich. Gap City, uh, Gap City. No, no, I don't want to say Gap City. Where am it I? Is in Gap 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 <laughs> it's there in Gap City, but it's there everywhere. You know yeah. what I mean? But but extremely wealthy people won't show you that wealth. Extremely wealthy people, um, yeah, you you won't know what they have. And why yeah. should you? You know, it's it's okay for you to be driving a beat down car because you, you know where your wealth is. And wealth is different things to different people. Yeah. So. What is it to you? Uh health. Health, Ooh. good health, Ooh. resting, because you can't enjoy you can't enjoy all everything else. Yeah, with, if you don't yeah. have health, yeah, health. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, being healthy. Um, I want to ask you something, right? Um, about the status of a person that you are, mm. right? Um, do you consider yourself one of the forces, female forces, superpowers of the executive world? And therefore, everything else that comes and trickles down below that, right? Do you consider yourself a voice so powerful people need to hear? And if you do, why? Because uh, I, I can tell you, I'm sitting down here <laughs> yeah, with yeah. you because I invited you because yeah. I think that you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. You got it. You got it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, l- let me tell you. I'd be kidding myself if I if I, if I didn't say that I I, I command a, a certain modicum of respect. Um, but I think other people that haven't reached whatever supposed highs I've reached should be able to have a voice. I think uh, having a voice and um, commanding respect and being able to articulate yourself and Ooh. being able to own your space yes. should not be a construct of a particular position. Mm. I don't think it should be about positional power. And okay. I know a lot of people that don't necessarily have positional power that have a voice because they've chosen to use that voice. And Who? I think what's most important Who? is the Who? yeah, is the choice to use your voice. Who? Use your voice. You don't, you don't need to be appointed as such and such or be said to be such and such for you to have, voice, had, and to use, have voice and to use your voice. I happen to um, be a person who's always been naturally, I think from an ability perspective and naturally born, somebody who is always going to be interested in articulating myself in a manner where I want to believe that I, I represent and I stand for, for many people that are not voiceless because everybody has a voice, but people that maybe cannot use their voice at this point in yes, time because yes. of whatever reason. Right. So when I, when I walk into an environment where I walk into a room where it's a room filled of, 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 of for, for instance, men that have assumed certain positions and gotten used to getting away with a, a modicum of 
um, being owners of knowledge. I, I challenge <laughs> the status quo. Yeah, like, no, why, 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 why? You know, because Matty, at the end why of the are you day, doing this to us? No, no, honestly, honestly, Matty, why? I'm a man, like, you know. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying there's nothing, and I don't fight men. I'm just saying I, I resent it when you then find, like, uh, the assumption. I remember I, I sat on a board one time I won't say which board because the people will know I'm talking about them. But I mean, because I was the youngest, I mean, it was assumed that I was going to take the minutes. When it was a closed session, I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. But you take the minutes. Yeah, but I'm a PS here. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a deputy CEO as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not taking the minutes. You take the minutes. You do you know remember what I mean? how but, old you were then? I was literally... You said you were the, the youngest. Yeah, I was the youngest at the time. Well, the youngest relative to that people to in the, the room. Yeah, yeah. Also, was, directors yeah, and shareholders yeah, 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 is probably yeah. like, yeah. I think I was, yeah, maybe like late four, late 30s. Late yeah, 30s. I think I was 39 or so. Okay, yeah. Okay. It was during the so Kama administration. No, you said no, huh? No, I did. It's like, I'm not here to take minutes. I'm as much a board member. I have been appointed. I'm here to serve at the behest of the president as you are as well. You take the minutes. Why should Jeez. I take the minutes? Because I'm the youngest. Jeez. And so I, I, I think for me, if, if, if you're saying... That is what I represent. Yeah, definitely that's what I represent. Uh, if you're, but I'm, I'm also very lighthearted. I like to have fun. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? I, I love to have fun. I remember how, yeah. how lighthearted you are and it kind of showed up in your presentation. You remember the first time I saw you? Yes. Didn't re really meet you. At the Corporate you. Uh, Corporate government, uh, Governance mm. uh, Company Same. Secretaries mm. uh, Summit. Your presentation was on the remuneration of directors. Yeah. The role of company secretaries yeah. in that environment. Yeah. And I thought, oh my goodness, man. Jesus, who is this woman, right? Yeah. You were very electric. You were very vibrant. Also very silly. <laughs> and very stupid. <laughs> I am silly and stupid. I'm, I'm especially stupid. <laughs> very stupid, yeah. right? Because stupid can be sexy, eh? This is, this, you and not. You and not. You and not. You know I mean, you, sh you should listen to my radio shows yeah. every Saturdays and Sundays yeah. on Gab's FM, right? Yeah. 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Yeah. Great conversations, but very stupid. You yeah. know what? It catches lighthearted. It lighthearted. Yeah. But I thought for the conversation that you had, right? For the presentation that you had, which was great, by the way. Thank, um, you. Thank you. Do you get invited to a lot of things like that? And when you do, do you, do you <laughs> sift off like which one resonates with whatever message that you have yeah. or whatever portfolio that you are in? What, what's the criteria in you saying yes to this and no, <laughs> and no to that? It's such an interesting question. You know what? I'm constantly myself, mm -hmm. um, authentically myself. I remember one time, um, I used to work for a guy called Paul Rowley. Right. Uh, he's the um, he's the executive vice president for Diamond Trading, the company that spends 10, 10 different countries. You see what you keep doing. You see what <laughs> no, you keep saying, doing. No, no, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So Paul was invited to. Can I stay here? <laughs> yeah, you can. You can. You can. <laughs> Feel free. Yeah. I, so Paul was invited to do a presentation um, where the International Monetary Fund and the African. Uh, the African, I think it was the African Union. Yes. Uh, we're having a, a conference. This was, I think, two years ago on uh, corporate governance and on um, corporate governance as in, and it was organized by the, minist by the Ministry of Finance here in Botswana. Awesome. You know? Oh, the Ministry of Finance was hosting it. I think the governor of the Bank of Botswana was hosting it together with, uh, with the current uh, Minister of Finance. Was this Mr. Finance. Matambo? No, no, no. At the time, it was the the the, the governor of the Bank of Botswana is Repelaelo, right, and then right. Mema Seraimi was the, the ah, minister, minister of, of finance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, you know, uh, needless to say, so he asked me to present edits, and so I literally went and presented at this thing where there are like many African luminaries. I think the 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 the, the president to, to to Liberia. Oh wow! You know, um, wow. was here as well. Uh, Tabo Mbiki was supposed to be there, which was which I was looking forward to because Tabo Mbiki has to absolutely be my favorite human being on the face of the earth. Is he your favorite South African I president? He's my, he's my favorite human being. I love Tabo. Is he your favorite South African yeah, I, president? No, he's my of course, <laughs> no, you know, of course. It goes but without I love, saying, I, I guess. Yeah, it goes without saying. But I love Tabo Mbiki. I also love Nelson Mandela, mm. you know, for obvious reasons. But I mean, Tabo Mbiki. I, I think loving Nelson Mandela is as self evident as. Loving Martin Luther King or Malcolm Pretty X, Mal you know what I mean, or Ooh. Barack Obama. Ooh. Um, but I mean, I, I have a lot to talk about, but that's in the next episode, yes, you know, with the yes, names that you've brought up yes. because of the conspiracy theories or the alternate thinking around what is perceived as direct and kind of, uh, 
Well, to greatness, to greatness, there's always going to be conspiracy. I mean, there are a lot of conspiracies about me. You know, what I mean? there are a lot of things that really? I said about. Yeah, there are a lot of things that I said about me that I have absolutely no 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 basis in. Can reality. we talk about them? Uh, I don't know about what, them. Okay. You, but I can imagine there are. I'm, I'm sure there are things that I don't know about okay, okay. that I said about me. Right, right. You know, in the same way that they will be about other. And, 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 and in no way, shape or form, by the way, am I trying to categorize myself in the world of like your Barack Obama, so you're Nelson Mandela. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. I, I, I'll get there, hopefully. You know, I'll get there. No but, doubts but, at yeah, all. Yeah, but, 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 but what I'm, the point that I'm trying to make is, so I, I, I was in Botswana, I was in Khaburu, and I was doing this um Seminar um, yeah. on behalf of uh, Paul Rowley. And then the next day, you know, like literally, I got off the podium, went to the airport, was in London the next morning, uh, did this thing at the Business Excellence Seminar, you know. And it was interesting. He trusted me to do this thing perfectly well. Yeah. And I'm not saying he didn't trust me in London, but in London, it's like, it's, it's the Business Excellence Seminar is like, you know, all the side holders, you know, world leaders within the diamond industry. Yeah. Very big. And, and I was on the stage. I could, I could see the man was quite nervous because I'm sure in his mind, he's like, oh, Matty, what is she going to say? What are you going to say? <laughs> what is she going to say? Yeah, but anyway, nonetheless, um, I, th I think I, I, I represented well, but I was myself. You yeah. know what I mean? I yeah. was myself. Unadulteratedly myself. It, it's always the best Authentically way. myself. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, within all of that, you know, I, 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 I got to appreciate the fact that he allowed me to, to to occupy that space and I love uh, that. yeah then I yeah then I got on another plane I went to New York for something <laughs> else <laughs> went to New York for something else it's a true story by the way you I, know, I none, bet of, it is. none of it is fictitious I bet it is I yeah, bet it I'm, and, uh, I'm not even going to argue but, with but, that but, but, but the thing that I love is, is is to work for a company that entrusts you that much let's talk about yeah. let's talk about as we close right we're about to close let's talk about because we got to have a full circle. I didn't even exhaust your biography on Instagram because it has mother in it, it has wife, and I feel like we've touched a bit on that as well. Yes. Right? But working with this company, right? Yes. I don't think we've really just grasped how important it is for you, but so much more important is how it must be for you, like the environment. Mm -hmm. How do you feel being the ch uh, chief executive, uh, executive head? Of, of HR. HR at Debswana. What what does that even mean to you when you wake up going to work? Well, it's about the, the responsible utilization of the resources at hand. It's about um, understanding that you are also carving carving a future yes. for Botswana. Yes. It's, it's a great degree of responsibility. It's, it's the biggest mine, diamond yes. mine in the world. Yes. It's, yes. It's, it's, it's where, it's, it's, it's our cash cow as a country. That's right. Uh, we need to diversify um, our economy away from diamonds. I mean, it's almost like a song when people say that, but it's true. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you are, you're, you've been entrusted with a great degree of responsibility. You know, it's, it's the economy of a country. Of course. It's the whole economy of a country. It really is. Yeah, and... Um, what we do with it and how we move in that world will, 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 will be very instructive for years to come, even beyond ourselves. But yeah. I think what I love about it is it's, it's, it's the opportunity to shape, uh, to construct, to deconstruct, mm. Uh, mm. to unearth, to rebirth. Ah, you said unearth. To, yeah, to, re unearth. to unearth, to rebirth, right? and, to diamonds, unlearn. Diamonds and, and to unlearn. And to unlearn as well, you know, because oh, yeah. I, 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 I have no doubt in my mind that Debswana is going to teach me a lot because Debswana I mean has a, a lot of extremely intelligent people it's, it's a beautiful beautiful company yeah. uh, it's, 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 it has some of the best thinking in the world it needs to be channeled in a yes. manner that is uh, decidedly progressive I think it needs to rebirth rebirth <laughs> yeah rebirth you know, without apology I'm going to say that it needs right. to rebirth I right. think but there's need to also exercise a, a bit of caution because it's not about throwing out the old and bringing in the new it's about a, a modicum and a balance of the two worlds because there's a lot of institutional memory that can help us. But as long as that, you know, as long as we're not going to be held captive yeah. and we can't see the vision yeah. because of our history, right. you know, right. 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 there's a quote from someone. But um, as long as we're able to utilize what we know to, to be able to galvanize ourselves um, as, as, as a country and as a people into the future and to reinvent. Reinvent. Yeah, reinvent and, and make this story uh, that's about Botswana and what Botswana is and how great Botswana is, not something that dies with our generation, but something that continues to live because we're, we're, we're a great example of, of, of African success. I love and that. we should continue to be. And, uh, you know, it's something that we should not take for granted because the people that founded this country yeah. 
you know, founded it, passed on the baton, you know, to the next person. To the, mm-hmm. that's that that is what has mm-hmm. worked with Botswana. Mm-hmm. People come and people leave. Yeah, definitely. People come and people leave. You know, time and, does and, that. Yeah, time does and that. give others a chance to 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 carve their own legacy and to carve the the destiny of 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 of, 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 of people and. Uh, I love that. To lead, to lead, you know. So for me, I, I love that about... I, th- I think you're the great person to be part of the, the leading, you know, role in terms of where the company is going to go at. And mm-hmm. I can only say, man, the honor that I have sitting down with you here is immense. It's incredible. Thank you. Because then I get to be part of your story in doing whatever you are doing, not Thank just you. for the company, Thank but you. inadvertently and, you know, indirectly for Botswana. Yes. You know? yes. But, but when I met you, they spoke about sustainability, right? Yes. Which is going to be our last chat, really. Yes. What do you view as the head of HR would be some of the things that need to be done, right? If yeah. at all, you can think on them uh, top of your head. Employment creation. To be able to sustain. Because sustainability is such yeah. a huge Emplo- thing for employ- any company employ- anyway. Employment creation. Employment creation. I think it's ridiculous that right. for an economy this small, there's so much unemployment. I do think. Um, but I think at some point... Um, the people that have been vested with that responsibility yeah. will, will come to us to ask for help as to how we can help deal with and, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And I think it's, it's not just a question of people coming to ask us for help. I think we should all partake in trying to see what we can do to contribute to us oh, alleviating yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, unemployment. I don't, think, I, I, don't, I don't think the issue of unemployment is, is, is a government issue. I think it's, a, it's an issue for all of us. As, 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 as a people. Yeah, yeah, as a people, yeah. yeah. I, I I definitely think, you know, greater than that, it's, it's, it's real wealth creation, mm. but particularly wealth creation uh, when you co- talk about citizen economic empowerment, particularly indigenous Botswana, indigenous yes. Botswana. Yes. I, 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 I don't necessarily think there's any merits in, in seeing wealth being created and grown within Chinese or Indian populations that have taken uh, place in Botswana. There and I'm you go. not no, and, 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 and I'm not even being there you xen- go, I'm, not, I, no, I'm not being xenophobic. I'm not being xenophobic. I'm being very deliberate. <laughs> right, right. Uh, because I mean, yeah, citizen economic empowerment, but indigenous citizen economic empowerment. Right. Uh, so maybe people need to think twice before they dole out those omangs and those uh, <laughs> brands of citizenship. No, honestly. Um because there, there, there's there's gonna be a time where where where, 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 our, where our children are gonna ask us, where were you? You know, what were you? What were you doing? You of know, course. during this time. Of course. And um, we, we, we. I have no, I have no problem with occupying space with Indians, Chinese, and whoever else who is foreign to this country. I mean, including yourself, including I mean, myself, yeah, including yeah. yourself. Yeah. So I'm not being xenophobic, but I mean, it's important that as a country, just like countries like like Singapore, we are very deliberate about what you give and who you give access to, what, how. Uh, to what extent? Because right. yeah, you, you're not gonna come. You're not gonna come back this way more than once, eh? For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Last but not least, oh, I hate that time flies so quickly. It when, does. When we're having a good time. But <laughs> what do you want out of life? Your mother, mm. your wife, mm. you're the head of HR. To see my kids happy. So easy. I've got three kids. Yeah. Yeah. To That's see all? them happy. Oh, to I see met, them happy. I met, what's her name again? Uh, a little. little. Ah, uh, there's, uh, the yeah, cutest there's, bundle yeah, that you there's have. Palace, uh, there's little but, little. I mean, there's Palace, uh, there's Mpona, and then there's Little Otlo. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, my kids are amazing kids. So uh, that's what you want them. out of life? Yeah, uh, to see your just, kids happy? You know what? My kids should just be happy. If God can just... Have you made more money? Have you made enough money? To, to, to ensure the happiness. To, to, no, no, no. To not want that out of your life. More money. Uh, yeah, I'm alright. I think. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm not saying. I'm, I'm not saying. I have all the hanging? money. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying I have, I have all the money in the world. But I, 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 I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm. Great. You know what? Because I, money doesn't motivate me. But that's a, I mean? that's a more noble yeah. thing. Your yeah. kids. Money doesn't motivate your kids happiness, yeah. right? Money, and, and you, you can never have enough money. You it's know what I mean? You can never have yeah. enough money. You know, yeah. it's like at the end of the day, I, I think God has blessed me. I don't want to take away from that. God has blessed me. God has been good to me. Yeah. I'm not necessarily the wealthiest person in the world, right. you know, financially at all, not by any stretch of the imaginations at all, at all, at all. I wouldn't even want to put that out there, but I've done all right for myself. Thank you so much for your yeah. story. Yeah, uh, you. The story of you joining this amazing company, the story of your husband 
that yes. you so speak of throughout the whole thing. I'm like, uh-uh, Paige, where is Paige? Where, where is that dude? You know? <laughs> and my kids. Yeah. And where the, sto- is he? the story of your kids. Do, uh, should we, can we say hi to Peño? Yes. Please. Where is Peño, he around? Where is he? Yeah, he should come. Please. He should come and say please. hi. I love yeah. that dude so yeah. much. So, hey, guys, guess who just decided to join us on this amazing rendezvous? <laughs> What's going on? So good, so good. So this is Mrs. Matlohonolo Mbonang's husband, Peño. Say hi to Peño. How you doing, my brother? I'm all right. I'm all right. How you guys doing? Great. So so without taking away from everything that's been happening here, yeah. thank you so much for taking us into your home, man. It's a pleasure to have you guys, man. You got a blue pool. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. God damn it. But it's, what you, it's what, awesome in summer because we can swim. It's oh, yeah. more than just an aesthetic. It's a, it's, it becomes functional. Good man. <laughs> Good man. Light flex. Light flex. I love light flexes. She's been light flexing all the way. Yeah. Dubai. Yeah. Milan. Yeah. London. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But just briefly while I have you. Yeah. yeah. Sure. How has it been? She's been celebrating marriage and I've seen yeah. the pictures. You guys look amazing and yeah. happy. Yeah. But if you had to describe it in a few words, yeah. how would you, how would you do that? It's been an awesome journey, man. Um, 14 years of marriage. Ah, yeah. Shit. 17 years all in all together, data for three yeah. years. Um, yeah, it's been awesome. A roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. She did say the highs are high, yeah. the lows are lows. Yeah. Yeah. What do you remember to do yeah. as a man? And by the way, yeah. you're teaching me, yeah. a younger guy who is contemplating on getting married. Nice. What do you do? When it's a real low, yeah, as a man to your woman, yeah, I think first of all, um, I think I can congratulate you on the thought of taking that journey. Right, I think right. it's it's a beautiful thing. Right. I think um, it's 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 one of the many things that God got right. Right. You know, matrimony is a beautiful thing, a beautiful institution. Yeah. Um, as a man, I yeah. think it's one of those things that um, can bring out. The best in you at times. I think so too, yeah. And um, the worst of you as well. So <laughs> so one day you look in the mirror and you're like, who's this idiot? <laughs> you know? And But most times you're like, wow, I am who I am because I've got this, this one, rock yeah, yeah. Uh, by my side. Yeah. But yeah, to, to answer your question, yeah. what you do when you're at the low or the, the lowest, lowest yeah. you just remember why, the reason why, right? You go back and say, why did we get together? What was the vision? What was the love? And and that should be enough to 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 keep you going. I, I talk a lot. I'm a management consultant, so it makes I sense. talk I talk for a living. So it makes if sense. you give me the time, the sign will be You're gonna have, you're gonna have your own time <laughs> on the G2.0. Yes. Thank you so much, my brother. It's a pleasure. Appreciate and, you. And, and please, you're welcome. Is there more drinks? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> See, whenever we come to your house on the Juice 2.0, yeah. do as the Mponangs have done. Thank you, my brother. Cool. Thank Appreciate you very it. much, guys. One time. Cool. We're going to wrap it up with your lady over here. Yes, please do. How you look at each other like that. <laughs> it's going to be babies tonight. That's what she- <laughs> Look, I'm so happy that I got to sit down with you finally. Yeah. When I saw you and met you, heard what you presented on. I thought, you know what? It'll be great to know what else is there yeah. about Matty. What and lies under the page? What lies under <laughs> under there? And I, I figure yeah. it's a lot of things that we didn't even talk about. Yeah. So maybe someday, by God's grace, we have a second episode of yes. you and you know everything else that entails about your and life. And at that point in time, I'll be doing something entirely different with my life. I'm totally, sure. totally. Yeah. And yeah. I'll be the one to introduce that to the world. Yes. Can I have that honor? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, indeed, be great. indeed. Okay. But the, the honor and the the, the privilege has, has been all mine. So thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, executive head, HR. Don't F's even what describe it with that title. Just say Matty. Just say I Matty. guess, yeah. I guess, look, I'm trying to go up in my life. <laughs> but yeah, hey, ladies see. and gentlemen, please, one Matty. more time for Matty. And thank you so much for stopping by the Juice 2.0 signing out. And do one thing for me, if you can. Stay juicy. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter who you are born from. Again, you choose and make decisions as you go along. That will actually help you become what it is that you want to become. You never give up. Never, ever give up.
whatever challenges that you face, whatever circumstances that you, you are in, you do not give up. Always make sure that you surround yourself with positive people. It's about sticking to principle. It's not about wanting to do things to impress other people. It's not about that. What's going on YouTube? My name is TK of The Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.